good morning or maybe it's good afternoon i haven't checked the time so i've been telling kind of like old lady stories well now i want to tell sort of like a younger lady story at my last job i was told a story by a co-worker who was um on the older side of middle aged, but it was something that happened to her when she was a teenager and uh, it was something she did and how she responded with the situation. Um, actually reacted is more like it. So I had a coworker, let's call her Julie, and she was very popular and well-liked, not because she had a work ethic, because she really didn't, but she just had like a really outgoing, very chatty personality and was just very talky. And she was a little bit aggressive, but like she was very well-liked, you know? So anyway, um, some one day, I think the conversation was about like who we dated before we got married, you know, because everyone in the office, I think, had been married at least once. Um, uh, or we're still married and some of us were divorced, but you know, so anyway, she told the story. I think she said she was, uh, older, but still in high school. Like, you know, not like 13, but maybe like 17 or 18. And she had a steady boyfriend and, um, there was a girl that they knew from school. She really wasn't a friend, but... She was one of those popular girls that lived in a nice house and everything, and she was having a party. It might have been a birthday party, I'm not sure. But she invited Julie and her boyfriend, among like a whole bunch of other people. And it was in the summertime or in the warmer weather because the girl had a pool. Her family had a pool, and I guess it was a pool party. I don't know if they went in the pool to go swimming or if it was just in the yard around the pool. So she said that, like, at this party, the hostess, the young lady that, like, invited them, the girl that her parents had a pool, kept, like, kind of flirting with Julie's boyfriend, and Julie didn't like it. And it just kept going on and on. And um, I don't know, it sounded to me from what, with the way she told the story and how I can recollect it was that the boyfriend was enjoying the attention. Now, whether he was flirting back or he just liked the attention or whatever, as a lot of men do, a lot of men do, I hate to say young and old, fall for like fake charm and manipulation of women, you know, especially if the woman is at least average or above average. But I don't think they see that like it's fake, you know. So anyway, well, that, that, that's just my take. So anyway, she said this was going on. And um, finally, you know, the three of them were standing there at the uh, edge of the pool and Julie snapped. She couldn't take it. The girl was start starting to like cross the line with the flirtation. So she pushed the hostess into the pool. And I remember her telling me that and I remember being shocked because number one, it was the girl's house. Not to say that that gave her carte blanche to flirt with another uh, young lady's boyfriend, but the boyfriend was doing nothing about it. He was going along with it and eating up all the attention. And it was not just jealousy, but disrespect, disrespect to Julie. I think if she should have pushed anyone in the pool, it should have been her boyfriend, but I guess she didn't want to mess up the relationship and wanted to make sure she had a ride home. Um, and then I remember her telling me that story. And on the way home that day, when I was driving home, and um, I always drove home on I-84 over the Newburgh Beacon Bridge, which goes over the Hudson River, I remember thinking to myself, if I were in that position, how would I have handled it? You know what I would have done? Me back then, I would have grinned and bared it. And then I would have probably just broken up with the boyfriend. Because even at a young age, he was there with his girlfriend. The girl was being inappropriate. 
blah, blah, blah. Even if he kind of tolerated it because it was her party, he could have stepped off to the side and told Julie, hey, I realize she's flirting with me and, um, you know, don't worry, I'm here with you and I'm not into her, I'm into you or whatever. The guy was stupid. He was a fool because I think that um, maybe he, he was getting into that, like, let's you and her fight. And he probably ended up with neither one of them. She ended up marrying someone else. You know, of course, most people don't marry their high school sweetheart. And... Um, was with and, and probably is still with her husband. But I was just thinking about that. Oops, I'm sorry I flinched. A bird kind of hit the window. Um, anyway, and it like startled me. Anyway, um, I was thinking as an older woman, for me to go and publicly cause a scene, if I think some woman is crossing the line um, or disrespecting me, um, by showing inappropriate attention to my romantic partner, I wouldn't um, carry on like that and give either one of them the satisfaction. I would just withdraw. I would withdraw, you know? And if it was something that really didn't cross the line and I really didn't like, I would privately tell my partner, it's her or me. Because guess what? Games are for children. I'm not a child. I'm an older woman, and I don't play games. And actually, it took me years to realize that I am a decent person, and I'm probably considered a good catch now in old age. And I don't have to put up with anything that's disrespectful to me and that drags me down. Because even at my old age, there's a whole boatload of golden bachelors out there. I'm not a gold digger. I have my own money. I can buy myself flowers, blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't mean that I don't like to be treated like a woman and a lady and given the proper respect that I deserve the same way that I've respected um, any man that I've been involved with. And that includes my ex-husband when I was with him and afterwards and anyone else that I was in a serious relationship with. I treated you well. You better treat me well. I've been kind to you. You better be kind to me because if not, someone else will want my kindness. Someone else will want me being, you know, treating them well, and they're willing to treat me well in kind. <laughs> that sounds like a tongue twister. So anyway, um, you know, maybe that girl that got pushed into the pool was a bitch and she deserved it. I don't know. But that's a story from teen years. But I think it's uh, applicable to even today to women that are you know, past menopause and um, even skirting into their golden years. So anyway, everyone, have the day that you deserve. Bye.